Hello everybody and welcome back and in this video I will show you how you can actually download both VirtualBox and Kali Linux, the newest version. Uh, but if you have the older version that one will work as well I believe, uh, even though you actually want to keep everything updated and updating your VirtualBox for example is always a good thing to do. So we'll download the latest version of both of these programs and we will try to make our own virtual machine. Now. As you can see right here, I already have both of them downloaded, which this is the installation file that we will use in order to install VirtualBox, which I have installed right here. And this is the Kali Linux 2019.1a version for the 64-bit machine. So, in order for you to actually download these two files, you need to go to these websites right here. So, one of them is kali.org slash downloads, and there you will have the newest version of Kali Linux available at the current moment. Now, if, for example, in the time where you are watching this course, for, uh, there is a different version other than 2019.1a, uh, feel free to download that one as well. And if you have any other problems regarding that version being different than this one, feel free to post questions and I will be happy to answer them. So, right now, what we want to do is actually download the Kali Linux for our virtual machine. So, as you can see right here, we have different types of Kali Linux models right here. We have the 64-bit, the Kali Linux LXDE 64-bit, the Lite version 32-bit, and a bunch of other versions as well. Now, the two versions that you should focus on are the Kali Linux 64-bit and Kali Linux 32-bit. Now, figure out what your main PC is, for example, my Windows 10 machine, which is this machine right here, on which I am on currently, is a 64-bit machine, so I will download the Cal Linux 64-bit version. Now, we can see the size of it is 3.3 gigabytes, and we can download it both from the uh, browser and from the torrent. I will click here to download from the HTTP. Uh, this will take some time, that's why I already downloaded it before this video started, so I will not be downloading it now. You make sure to wait until all of these 3.2 gigabytes or 3 gigabytes are finished, and after that you can continue with the downloading of VirtualBox. So, once again, if you have a 32-bit uh, PC, download the 32-bit version. And after you do that, you want to go to the VirtualBox website, which is right here, so let me go one directory back. You just type in VirtualBox in your Google search bar, and you just click on the first link that pops up, which will be Downloads Oracle VM VirtualBox. This will lead you to this page where you can actually pick which one you want to download. As we can see, VirtualBox, the current version is 6.0.4. Uh, the platform packages, as we can see, they are separated for Windows hosts, OS X hosts, Linux distributions, and Solaris hosts. Now make sure to pick uh, the version on which your main software or pardon me, main operating system is running. For me that is Windows since I am using Windows 10. So I'll just click right here on Windows Hosts. And as you can see it will start downloading the VirtualBox 6.0.4 version for me. Now this is a lot smaller file than the Kali Linux 2019 version. So this shouldn't take too much time to finish. But I already have both of these files. So I will actually close this and I will show you how you can install the VirtualBox uh, in this video. So once both of these files are downloaded for you, uh, I can close this right now. We do not need it anymore. Uh, what you can do is actually paste them both on the desktop as it will be easier for you to find them. And right now we are only interested in this file right here. So this is the installation file for our VirtualBox. Now before I actually install it, let me close both of my machines. So I'll just close it like this. This is just a virtual machine and this is the actual interface of our virtual box, which I will show you just in a second, right after I show you how you can install it. So what you want to do is double click the installation file. Uh, it will say preparing to install and basically all you want to do is just click next on every question it asks you. So right now if I click here next, this part right here is something you won't have. Now, I have this because I already have VirtualBox installed, so it asks me to modify, repair or remove installation since it can't really install it twice. So I will just remove my current VirtualBox. I will just click here remove. Uh, 
Uh, as I said, you will not have any of that. You can just proceed to the next step. I will click here, yes. It will remove my VirtualBox currently, as we can see right here. It should be removed any second. And right after that finishes, I will show you the true process of install VirtualBox, which will be basically just clicking next on every step. As we can see, I don't longer have the VirtualBox right here, so I will just click here, finish. I will double click this once again. And we can see I will just go next on every step. So create start menu. This, if this is not checked for you, uh, make sure to check it. So it actually creates a desktop icon for you on the on your own desktop, so you can actually easily navigate to the VirtualBox. So we just click here next, proceed with the installation, yes, uh, and then install. This shouldn't take too long. It will prompt you for the administrator password. Basically, if you allow this application to make changes, you press yes, and this will download in just uh, 10 or 20 seconds or something like that, and you will be good to go. Then you can open the VirtualBox and we can proceed to the actual creation of our Kali Linux virtual machine. So it has finished. As we can see, we want to check right here, start Oracle VM VirtualBox after installation and click here, finish. Now we wait for the window to open up, this same window you saw previously. And this is something that you won't really have. So all of these are virtual machines that I actually created before. Uh, you will not have any of these if you are currently uh, installing the VirtualBox for the first time. If you are not, you're, if you already have Kali Linux machine and VirtualBox installed, you're probably skipping this section anyway. So uh, all you have to do right now is actually click here on the new button right here. Now this new button right here basically presents the new virtual machine. So once you click on this, it will ask you for some of the questions in order to create for you the new virtual machine that you will use. So right here, you can name the machine anything you want. This is basically the name of your machine. I will name it Python Ethical Hacking. Doesn't even matter, you can name it anything you want. What I will do right here is this is the important part. In the type, you want to select the Linux since we are using the Linux operating system. And right here, you will have a bunch of these options for the Linux version and you want to select the Debian 64-bit. Now, if you installed Kali Linux 64-bit version, you select here Debian 64-bit. If you install Kali Linux 32-bit version, you want to select here Debian 32-bit, since Kali Linux is actually based on Debian. That's why we are selecting Debian right here. So, once you make sure everything is good, you have the type Linux, the version Debian, and then 64 or 32-bit. You gave it a name and this is the folder where the machine will be saved. You proceed to the next step. Now, the next step is basically the memory size which you will give to your virtual machine. Now, this is basically your RAM memory. So, for example, as you can see right here, I have 8 gigabytes of RAM memory on this PC. And I want to choose how much RAM memory I want to give to my virtual machine. Now, what this means is basically... Uh, if you have 8 gigabytes like me, and you give 2 gigabytes to your virtual machine, every time you start up your virtual machine, the virtual machine will actually occupy 2 gigabytes of your RAM. So for your main machine, there will be left only 6 gigabytes. So make sure to not select too much right here, or it might actually make your uh, PC crash. For example, if I just type here 8 gigabytes, it will not even open the machine since there will be no memory left for my main PC. So. One, uh, I would advise you to put like two gigabytes at least. Uh, you can go with one as well, I believe, but uh, you don't really want the machine to run that slow. So all you want to do is just select the memory that you are capable of giving to the virtual machine. For example, if you have four gigabytes, you can technically give two gigabytes for, to, for the virtual machine, but it might be running a little bit slower since you only have two gigabytes left for a main machine. But it doesn't really matter. For now on, we just want to select the appropriate uh, memory for our virtual machine. Click here next. And you want to select create a virtual hard disk now. And click here create. It will ask you what file type of the hard disk you want. You just click here next, which is selected as VirtualBox, uh, VirtualBox disk image. Dynamically allocated. 
what this means basically dynamically allocated uh, it will not fill up the space as you use the machine now the fixed size if you for example give 50 gigabytes of your hard disk memory to this virtual machine it will already make those 50 gigabytes as full you will not be able to use them or uh, to do anything with them unless you delete the virtual machine itself the dynamically allocated will however not uh, take any memory uh, right now but if you actually use it can take up to 50 gigabytes of memory so click here next i will just leave it on dynamically allocated since it creates it faster and all it asks right here is the confirmation of the name and the amount of memory you want to give it from your hard disk now if your hard disk for example one terabyte you can give it uh, 30 20 40 gigabytes however you want make sure to not go below 20 gigabytes so i will give this machine around 30 gigabytes of memory so 32 doesn't even matter i'll click here on create and right now as we can see right here we have python ethical hacking which has debian 64 bit icon right here you can see the specs of our uh, virtual machine right here and we will continue to actually install in cal linux itself in the next video so hope everything went right for you uh, we will continue with adding our ISO file that we received from the Cal Linux install uh, pardon me, downloading process. And we will use it in order to run our operating system on this virtual machine that we just created. So hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye.